everybody, this is Praxis and today I'm on site working on electrical boxes and kind of getting things ready in the walls for the rough electrical inspection. Uh, the rough electrical inspection is looking at things like, you know, the wires all going through the walls, making sure that they're stapled, you know, kind of where they're supposed to be, making sure that the electrical boxes are grounded out, uh, that kind of stuff. So they need to be able to see the walls, uh, inside the walls, you know, where all the wires are, and they need to be able to see the electrical boxes, which is a little tricky for us because our electrical boxes are not attached to the studs, they are attached to the wall boards themselves. So in order to attach the electrical boxes, which have to be there for the rough inspection, you need to get the wall boards on. But if you put all the wall boards on, you can't see any of the wires on the inside. So uh, we talked to the electrical inspector and what he asked us to do is to kind of put up the, uh, the boards that are going to have electrical boxes in them. Like down here there's going to be one for an outlet, there's going to be one for a wall switch here which will control a light and there'll be another one up in here. So we're going to kind of be putting them in sort of temporarily, uh, which irritates me. <laughs> I hate whenever I do something temporarily I want to just like do it you know for the final but this is what we're going to do is kind of get them up. So this one here I just affixed put a little electrical box in there. There'll be another one kind of floating here. There's going to be another one floating there. And it's tricky because you have to kind of uh, estimate uh, you know, where these boxes get cut into each one of these boards. Uh, you know, the center of each box is supposed to be 45 inches off the floor. But uh, you know, each board is supposed to be 7 inches in width, but they're not always. So there's got to be a little bit of play because when we start stacking the boards up in here, uh, you know, this one could be a little higher or it could be a little lower, or, you know, it's hard to know where it's going to be exactly. And as it floats, like if, we're, well, here's some of the boards over here, you know, as these boards, you know, go in here, pop, 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 you know, maybe this one here actually has to come down a half an inch, which will end up making this half an inch lower than you know maybe the ideal. So it's a little bit it's a little bit weird, it's a little bit irritating because I, I hate doing stuff temporarily. I'd like to just do the real deal. But uh, you know, this is what we gotta do so that we can have the inspector come through and do what they need to do. And uh, you know, I don't think it'll be too bad, but it just kind of bugs me that I'm taking all this time to measure things really precisely and yeah, you know, they're going to slide around. So all the precision I'm putting into it, uh, in the end, is going to be, like, hopefully, you know, the things will be correct. But, you know, they could be around the room, kind of floating around a little bit, just because of the, the variability of the boards. Because the 8-inch uh, boards, uh, which are generally 7 inches, aren't always 7 inches. <laughs> So, I mean, they can, they can vary by like an eighth of an inch or even more per board. So, not, so, not a big deal for things lower on the wall, but as the boards kind of go up, things higher on the wall, you add up all those eighth inch differences, and, you know, you could easily have something like an, an inch higher or an inch lower. So, uh, that's where I am now. And I'm kind of deflated by it. You know, today's not like a real enthusiastic day. I'm doing what I got to do. Just asking myself that question I always ask. What's the best thing I could do right now to you know, get this thing done, and that's what I'm doing, but uh, I'm not feeling a lot of that enthusiasm because I just hate putting all this precision into it, uh, knowing that there's going to be all this variability that's going to kind of make all the precision for not. But, you know, you do the best you can. That's it. Thanks for watching.